on this road. Yeah. And so one day I was exploring back here, driving along, and I saw what I'm going to show you, and I almost drove off the side of the road. <laughs> so make sure Yusuf doesn't drive off the side of the road when he sees this. <laughs> but um, but you're going to see it on the right side. We're going to actually get out and look at it. So if uh, you don't see it, but it's on the right side of the road coming up pretty soon and this is the busy street that we got to walk across so we're all going to get out of the bus wait to, and then cross together when we know the coast is clear look out the right side of the bus maybe have yusuf slow down so, okay so look look right to the right did i say the left side of the bus i meant the right okay right wait slow down because we're going left there there it is left 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 left, left. I don't know what I said, but anyways, we're going to get out and look at it, so don't worry about it. So come, come in as close as you can. You can come take a look at this. Oh my God! This opening right here is not part of the original tomb. Okay, this was punched open either by archaeologists or robbers. So when you come in here, I want you to notice first of all, of course, the rolling stone, but also this trough that's down here, so that the rolling stone rolls over and then it drops into that trough. So it's much easier to roll it into that trough than to roll it up and out of that trough. Okay, and then the other thing I want you to notice as you look in here is you're going to see niches. These niches, these are called uh, kohim, but it doesn't matter, just call it a niche. Okay, and what they are is they're for putting a dead body inside of, and then you put a rock seal, you seal the niche and then the body decomposes into bones. And these niches are only used during the time that they're using these ossuaries, ossuaries. which are these limestone bone boxes, which are the size of your femur, okay? Uh -huh. And so what you do is, is you put, them in the, put the body in the niche, decomposes over about a year, come in then with the ossuary and collect the bones and put it in the ossuary. You might put the ossuary back in the niche or you might put it somewhere else in the tomb. So these ossuaries and these tombs with these niches that are used in this style are only in use from 37 BC, BC. Herod the Great, uh -huh. until 70 AD, destruction uh, by the Romans. <coughs> so if you see, and so Michelle, he saw this tomb, he looked at it, he goes, oh, this is from the time of Jesus. This is from, and what does he mean by that? He says, well, he knows it's in that narrow window of time. And this is going to come into play when we start thinking and talking about <laughs> of the, yes and I want you to think of the angel that's sitting on top of the rolling stone well that's what they were worried about yeah the women were worried about how are we going to get that stone out of the way and you don't have to go in if you don't want to <laughs> So, I wonder if this was like what it was where they laid Jesus. Okay, can you guys still like hear this? me inside? Because I want to read a verse as you're looking in there. Can you hear me in there? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Can hear yeah, they can hear you. Okay, so. Yes, I'm. For some reason, when I read, where they laid Jesus, I 
always think there's some great. I would like to connect this site that we're standing in at right now to the first site that we uh, visited today. Okay, which was the harbor at uh, at Joppa. Remember what happened? Jonah took off from there, disobeying God, not going up to Nineveh, got swallowed by a fish. So I'm going to start reading in verse 38, Matthew chapter 12. Verse 38, you ready for this? Then some of the Pharisees and teachers of the law said to him, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. Now he's talking to the Jews, his fellow Jews of his generation. Right? He answered, verse 39, A wicked and adulterous generation asked for a sign, but none will be given it, except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. You see this fish that we're standing next to right here? Mm -hmm. The belly of the fish. Jesus, the belly of the earth. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. They repented at the preaching of Jonah. And now something greater than Jonah is here. It took an angel. Yeah. <laughs> or at least <laughs> one or two. I don't remember. I took off my cat and I couldn't see into the sun. So I'll see if I got it. Or you could show that you pushed it out of it. Right, right. I said, well, you got to see this. Yeah, yeah that's the bigger thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's ours. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 